Mr. Thorstein, where have you been? So many people asking for you. I've been raiding in the French coast. You could have warned us. Well, I left a note. This tiny piece of paper? <laughs> when I come back, I'm going to kill you. Exactly. <laughs> Yes, I like to make threats disappear for an undetermined amount of time and then leave people in fear and dread, wondering when death will come to their doorstep. <laughs> you brought something with you? Oh yes, a beautiful maiden. <laughs> you brought one for me? Oh, uh, I lost her at sea. Uh, if anyone asks, she slipped and fell. <laughs> All right, well, time to make another video. Hello friends, my name is Ari Therger and today I'm going to talk about the Alpha Blot. In northern pagan traditions there is a celebration called the Alpha Blot, a sacrifice to the elves. This was a celebration held by the hand of Autumn, but we have to take in mind that to our Norse ancestors Autumn did not count as a season. There was spring, a short summer and a very long winter. After the end of the harvesting season, when all the crops were reaped and the animals well fed, it was time to go indoors. The long winter and harsh weather forced people to shut themselves in. Just as nature would sleep beneath the cold mantle of winter, all birds ceased to sing and a dead silence fell upon the world, so did humans retreated to their dwellings and spent the winter indoors, surviving by feeding on the stored food. Now, the true essence of paganism is to celebrate life, to cause well-being to the family and the community by working together. Each individual plays an important part in the welfare of the community. This is why most pagan celebrations are public celebrations and the community gathers for a collective festivity. But the Alpha Blot is a different celebration, not like the other blots or other pagan celebrations and festivities. This was a small celebration performed by either one individual or one family. It was a local celebration at the homesteads of each family and it was administered by the lady of the household. During this time, strangers were not welcomed near the homesteads when the celebration was being held because this was a private blot, a private sacrifice, a moment to be shared with the ancestors and honor them at their burial mounds. A celebration that focuses on the particular affections and love that people feel for the family members that are already dead. This celebration is not only to honor the ancestors, but also all kinds of other spirits, such as the elves and the Lenvithir, spirits of the land. The elves are seen as, a, as spirits closely connected to the fertility of the land, but also in contact with the dead. They are a source of spiritual power and through them people can communicate with the dead and the gods. Much like the Celtic belief in fairies, the North Germanic peoples also believed that they were always surrounded by entities of great power all over the land. Gods and goddesses, land spirits or land Vethir, Alfar, Elves, Dwergar, Dwarves, Assassins, Trolls, Ulderfork and so on. Every entity lived in the land, on trees, rocks, streams, animals and so on and helped the people in their daily needs, mundane life. They would also help giving guidance and wisdom or for some giving a hand in magical works. People lived in close association with these spiritual beings and the connections and friendships between uh, both sides were forged through a series of ritual actions. The most important ritual or celebration in this matter was the Alpha Blot. The Alpha Blot was a celebration held during or after the winter nights the three days which mark the beginning of the winter season. The aim of this celebration or sacrifice was to help the participants connecting with the local spirits surrounding their farmstead and to begin to establish the relationship of mutual trust, respect and support with them. As I've said, strangers were not allowed near the farmsteads during these times and we can assume to know why strangers weren't welcomed and why this celebration was a local family thing. Because those that did not belong to the family and had no close connection with the deceased members of the family couldn't possibly have any link to the feelings shared by each family member towards their own ancestors. Strangers should be at their own homes with their own families. This was the main rule. 
to the north their property wasn't just their home and farm but also the place uh, where they would bury their dead. The family's grave mound was built within the property, the same concept of a sepulchre. It was believed that the spirits of the dead occasionally wandered near their burial mounds. So during the Alpha Blot, the celebration was also held near or on top of the burial mound. It was important to maintain the bonds of love and friendship with the deceased members of the family because the living ones would someday join them. This reinforces the privacy of such celebration. This celebration is still held nowadays, of course, in many places. Today you can invite whoever you want because the main objective of this celebration is to be connected with the spirits of the land. For instance, in Iceland, people still honor the local spirits of the place where they live and ask them if they can build their own uh, home in the area because the human presence may not be welcomed at such places by the local spirits of the land. Alright friends, thank you so much for watching and as you already know, you can contact me. Just go down below in the description and you will find all the links to my social media. Thank you so much for watching, see you on the next video and of course, Takvarila!